Hey guys, it's Tom here from Crypto Busy, and in today's video, I'll be going over the difference between XRP and Ripple because um, I've seen this on my previous video about why I bought a ton of Ripple, and there was a comment or a thread about uh, the difference between XRP and Ripple, and what is the difference? What is the main difference? Well, here is the main difference. I'm just going to sort of lay it out in the first 10 seconds. Here is that Ripple is a company, and XRP is a cryptocurrency slash token. And it's a utility token, right? There is a difference between, you know, when you buy Ripple, you're not buying um, part of a share of Ripple. You're buying XRP, the token. So uh, I'm going to go through a different number of websites to really explain and really get to the point of what the difference is between the two. Uh, but that's the sort of laid out in the first 10 seconds there, the difference between the two. It's currently trading at, let's have a look here, 69 cents, nearly 70 cents, up to 1.25% today. Uh, most of the market is up today, is actually. Um, but, uh, you know, you look you look at the circulating supply and the current supply and all that sort of stuff. And um, you look at the circulating supply, you know, it's, it's a large amount and people, you know, it's one of the sort of milestones or sort of hurdles that people like to get their head around, um, you know, that it's such a large supply and, you know, relatively speaking, it's a it's a large market cap. But you look at the all time high again, as I said in my previous video, you know, it had a market cap of nearly 141 billion, something like that. So it has space to grow. Um, so there's a few things I'm going to go through. I'll leave all the links to what I'm going to talk about today in the description below. So this was a Reddit uh, um, article here and it says here. Here's the difference between XRP and Ripple, and it sort of you know, it says it down to a T here, right? So Ripple, the company, offers banks a software called Ripple Connect, which uses interledger protocol to transfer dollars or money, whatever money you want to use, between banks with a minimal fee because it doesn't have to get transferred two to three times to different fiats or service fees. It simply needs to get converted once. This software does not use XRP. XRP is an option but right now, banks are not choosing it because it's new, because of its volatility, right? XRP is a cryptocurrency that exists, out that exists outside of Ripple Connect that is high in liquidity and has fast transactions. And that's what they're really trying to sell here is that, and this is another video here that I, su I highly suggest that you check out and it really explains it quite well. The interview actually kind of, you know, probes him a bit on what, what, what the hell's going on a bit, but you know, you look, you look at the, the sort of partnerships that are announced from day to day, all that sort of stuff that Santander is using Ripple, MoneyGrams using Ripple, Western Union's Ripple. They're, they're testing it. They're testing it at the moment because at the moment it's it's early days on whether they want to use it or not. It could be at the end of the day that they choose not to. But, it, you know, it's one of those things where, you know, the technology itself, where you can transfer money from one country to another so quickly, so fast with low fees... Um, you know, you'd be bad not to really in that sort of case if you had the choice between transferring money from one country to another uh, It's just the current system where you pay, uh, you know, a very high amount of fees and um, You know, you do lose out on money in one currency to another So let's say you went from US dollars to euros, you know, you lose out a bit of money there from the exchange rate there and also the fees involved there and there's sometimes probably taxes involved as well You got to take all those sort of things into account here um, but what Ripple will do is with the banks when they use Ripple is they will buy Ripple and then they will sell Ripple at the other end. So it's very quickly done and the money transferred will be very quickly um, done there. So here's the difference, right? Ripple is a company, XRP is a cryptocurrency. At the moment, at the moment, um, companies like Western Union and banks like Santander and you know a few other banks in Japan itself, they're testing at the moment they want to see how well it is and in most cases and, and practically in all cases they report very good reports of saying well it's actually working very well we're going to do something probably in the future so it's all these sort of things where it's starting to sort of all connect so the reason being of 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 ripple being big in 2018 it still has space to grow and um, that's why i said in my previous video that it has you know space to grow in the three to six dollar mark by the end of the year i hope that answers your question in terms of uh, what the difference is. Again, uh, here's a wiki article about what, what Ripple and what XRP does. Again, you can all read this through as well. Uh, it's a very interesting read. So I'll, I'll leave the links of Wikipedia, this article here, especially this video, you need to check out this video. It's very straight to the point. And then you have uh, Ripple itself, this Reddit article as well. And the last thing here, XRP, just going through their website here. And so using XRP, banks can source liquidity on demand in real time without having to pre-fund Nostra accounts, okay? And then payment providers. 
Payment providers use XRP to reach into new markets, lower foreign exchange costs, and provide um, faster payment settlement. Okay, here are the benefits. It's very quick. That's why people like to use it, and it's scalable. I hope that answers the question about XRP and the difference between XRP and Ripple itself. Um, again, I'll be very interested to start a discussion with you guys in the comments below about what you think about Ripple and what you, um, you know, whether you're buying Ripple, whether you're selling Ripple. I, I'd really like to know what, what your guys' thoughts are on this. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter and Instagram at CryptoBusy. We keep you guys up to date whenever we post a new video on there as well. We also interact with you guys in there as well. Also, we have a Telegram chat, so we plan to get that more, a bit more active in the future. So make sure you check that out. Um, you know, we're very happy for you guys to join that and join a bit of a community there. Really would like to start, you know, a bit of a discussion with you guys in there as well. So I'd love, to, love for you guys to actually join the Telegram chat as well. And also don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn on the notification button if you're new. We plan to upload a new video every single day. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.